Good morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I hadn't planned on coming on today uh, because it's my day off. So I've just put on a filter. Hair isn't washed yet. And I've just about put on lipstick. Anyway, that's not the reason I'm on to you today. The reason I'm on to you today is to discuss um, the increasing numbers in COVID cases right now and how it's impacting us here in Broughty. So obviously when the country opened up for everybody, um, it opened up differently for us here in Browdeek, um, in both our West Cork clinic and in the Dublin clinic as well. Um, and I have always said about how I'm not a, a hospital, a frontline staff, even though I work as a nurse, as does Ashling. Um, but we're not beauty therapists either. So therefore, there are strict COVID uh, policies with us here in Browtik, whereby I can't ask you to wear a mask coming to us, but I would urge you to. Um, and myself and Ashling both still wear the FFP2 masks when we're doing a treatment with you. Bear in mind, when we're hovering over your forehead, we're less than six inches away. So, like, we're so close to you that we, we could nearly kiss you. <laughs> That's how close we are. Um, and so you're lying on a bed and we're sitting on a seat. And in order to see what we're doing, um, it's like drawing on a canvas. So, yeah, we're that close to you. So, therefore, it is out of respect for you as our client that we are continuing to wear the FFP2 mask. So neither Ashling or myself, despite the fact that COVID numbers are increasing hugely, have gotten COVID yes, yet. Um, and I'm waiting for the day that it's going to happen. I check my antigen tests every second day, um, as does Ashling. And we need to make sure that as practitioners of our business in Brautique, Ireland, that we are safe to carry out a treatment on you. As you know, uh, 60 to 70 percent of our clients have had a recent cancer diagnosis and have either started their chemotherapy uh, journey um, and they become neutropenic. So what neutropenia means is that they don't have the same buildup of white cells which are the chargers. These are the guys on the white horses and they charge infection. And that level is reduced hugely when you have um, um, chemotherapy. Therefore, they don't have the same level of immunity as most healthy people do, um, despite the fact that they have been vaccinated. So therefore, I do not want or uh, want to be traced back to somebody coming to my clinic and said that I was an unsafe practitioner. And that is what Ashling and myself pride ourselves on. If we can't hurt, don't harm. If we can't help, don't harm. That's what I meant. Um, so that has been our ethos as registered nurses. I have been a registered nurse for over 40 years now. Ashling is a registered nurse for over 26 years. And we have this inbuilt uh, ethos in our nursing training that if you can't help, don't harm and don't put yourself in the way of harming somebody. And certainly um, in business, we are also screening people to um, make the decision as to what point do you say no. And that is, um, that's why I'm on today is that, <laughs> excuse me, we send out an email closer to your appointment time to say if you have COVID yourself or if you're in contact with COVID, please reschedule your appointment. We don't mind. So if I contract COVID as a result of somebody coming to my clinic who knew that they had COVID, it means that I have to close down my business until the symptoms have passed. I have Ashling at the moment that I can actually that I could call on in an emergency and say, Ash, is there any way that you can take my clinic for the next 10 days or seven days or whatever the quarantine period is now? Um, and Ashling would help me out in a heartbeat. But 
say for example she's got young kids going to school what if she was either had COVID or her kids were COVID or she was close COVID contact or whatever so I'd have to close my business until the you know until it's passed and therefore the knock-on effect for everybody not only me I'd be down in income um, as would Ashling be down in income um, and all you would be is you'd still have your fee safely in your pocket so I would urge you please please reschedule as soon as you know that you are COVID positive let me know I have a waiting list that is pages long I can fill it in a heartbeat um, as can Ashling. Um, so it's so important um, and I, like, I know there are people out there who don't care but we're not one of them we are so privileged on a daily basis that the oncologists are still trusting us to refer their clients to us before chemo during chemo and I know it's inconvenient I know I know all of that but it's still saving lives guys and in, including my own um so like and there are no eyebrows worth dying for or going on a ventilator for can you imagine saying to your grandchildren in time I took a risk over eyebrows I just want to get the message out to you that our cancellation policy is strict. You all know what it is, that you can cancel any time up to 24 hours before your appointment um, and, 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 and get your refund uh, back without, without any, like it's automatic, it's automated. Uh, and within 24 hours, out of respect for us in our business over the years, that you, if you couldn't make your appointment within 24 hours of your appointment, uh, you forfeited your deposit or whatever you paid for your colour boost. But I just want to let you know that if you reach out to me by email and say, Olive, I can't cancel because I'm within the 24 hour period. Is there any way that you can give me a new appointment and transfer the, you know, the, the fee across with it? We'll do it. Um, like, you know, these are unprecedented times. It could be weeks or it could even be months later. But, you know, hey, that's OK, too. You know, there's only one of me. There's only one of Ashling, And we'll pop you on the cancellation list because people are cancelling our rescheduling all the time. So like, on a daily basis, I've had a couple of cancellations for tomorrow. So those of you who are on the cancellation list, watch out for your you will get a text first to say go to email and we'll give you an option to come tomorrow. So like it happens and like our scheduled clients you know they have to be taken care of first um um and because they have to be honored though those appointments have to be honored so a bit of flexibility as well is okay look i'm being flexible so we'd expect that from you as well i know it's inconvenient but hey we're dealing with a virus a battle with something that we can't even see Okay, right, uh, there you go. Right, I'm going to go for a walk 